Okay, so now we've got a slide imported into Explaindio, I want to start to customize it. So make sure you're on the slide tab, then click customize this animation. And you can see on this particular slide, we've got three text areas. We've got a background image and a main image area one, which is this one. You can add a background video if you want the animations, special effects, like you see that coming up and there's all various different kinds of like snow and stuff like that. And the outline tab for me is where the magic happens because this is where you can completely customize the color scheme, move things around and uh, turn on and off various elements of the slide. So this image placeholder has been put there just so you can see exactly what is the what is supposed to happen on the slide and what the slide is supposed to look like and how it's supposed to animate on most standard slides you'll just have a blank space and you won't really know what it's going to happen until you actually put an image in there so of course we need to turn this off so we can see the image that we put in there and you do this uh, via the outline tab now I do know that it is outline area four. So you see that image placer holder, holder has gone. So we go then to the image tab, image area one, and we browse on our computer to where the photograph is that we want to import into Explaindio. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've imported the image from my computer and now I'm going to have to just tweak it a bit to make it sit and look exactly how it's supposed to. And what I mean by that is the image placeholder um, was set to a certain size, but the image that you bring in isn't going to automatically resize exactly to fit. And unless you can pre-program it, obviously you can format it to be the exact size that it should be, or you can just bring it in and then tweak it inside of Explaindio. And you do that via these X scale and Y scale and the offset uh, controls. So you can see I've got a gray space here. So you can either resize it and stretch it out, or you can just move it if you prefer using these offset controls. See so Y goes up and down like that. And X goes side to side. So let's just offset it and make it line up on the side like that. Um, and what you could do, I mean, you could stretch it out further if you want to, but you could just take this space up for text instead. Um, you see you've got a control here called Word Wrap. So you've unchecked that, and it's basically stretched the text out way beyond what we actually want. But you can play around with things. So you can move the text up and down as well, and side to side. So there you go. It's filling up even more of the space now. If you put the Word Wrap back on, See, then it moves it and you can change everything again. So you've got quite a lot of flexibility as to how you want things to look. And of course, um, with the outline tab, you can switch out like the color schemes of things. So this gray box up here, if you don't like this gray, find out which outline area it is. Say, for example, that was the leaf background, see outline two, that was a design background that disappears when I uncheck that box. Um, so probably outline area three then. So I've unchecked that and now the box is gone. If you put it back again, just change the color and then you've got a completely new look. <laughs> Not necessarily the best look, but a completely new look and you can change it to any color you want to. Now, if you want to get back to the original gray color, the only option at the moment is pretty much to sort of search around for a color on here or find the hex value of the color that you want. Um, either that or you've just got to close the slide and re-import it to bring back the original, but then you've lost all the work you've previously done. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put some detailed notes about the slides and give you the hex values of all the colors I've used so that if you do change anything and then you change your mind back again, it's not too hard for you to put it back to how it originally was. Uh, so that's sort of basically how you customize the slide. So apartment living, 
let's just change that to condo living. All right, let's change the font. Uh, let's go for something a bit more chunky. And let's change the color. Okay, so now we've got a slide that's like completely out there. Text area to at its very best. All right. And then of course you can alter this slightly. Okay, let's alter the positioning, bring it down if you want to. And let's say we don't want to have this as a real estate slide. So let's change the image out. I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to find a completely different image. Uh, obviously when you bring in a new image you're going to have to resize it again and make it fit.